Good afternoon to, to all present here. It is an honor to be able to install this con the historical Congress of the Homeland Bloc, which have emerged from the bottom of the Venezuelan people. As the video said, over 100 as uh, par assemblies, um, over 100 meetings, and over 3 million Venezuelans have participated from the of, of with the from the debates uh, and are right now here. And so this Congress that we are installing will provide the path of the Venezuelan of the future. I want to greet uh, to represent representatives of the five generations of the founding generations of the founding generation, our dear Maria Cristina Iglesia. I want to greet representatives of the five generations that have been here discussing the founding, the the golden generation, the young generation, and the outstanding generation. We, all of them are the guarantee of the Venezuela of the future, which have been uprooted with the, well, I want to greet uh, Dr. Jorge Rodriguez, brother uh, of life and revolution. We have uh, shared our path as, as siblings uh, as we are. And greetings to vice presidents of uh, the communes of uh, sect of governors, mayors, mayors, representatives of the Venezuelan state. And I want to particularly greet all the seven forces that are represented here, the United Party, the, United, the Socialist United Party of Venezuela, the um, councils and communes, the great missions and social movements, the great patriotic Paul Simon Bolivar, the local committees of uh, supply, supplies, I want to agree to the movement of sovereignty, and I want to especially greet the indigenous movements of Venezuela, the root over which we, we, we founded and we built up a nation with a lot of moral and with a lot of moral historical resilience of uh, our indigenous people in front of the colonizers. Greetings to all the youth of Venezuela who has been participating in this uh, extraordinary Congress of Homeland. President Nicolás Maduro has said that we must have a method. And I want to congratulate Ricardo Menendez, Vice uh, President of Planning, and I want to read Meliard, who both have been in front of the organization in, in the popular meetings and in this historical Congress of the plenaries of the articulation and system and consolidation of over three, 3.5 million Venezuelans have been, have been a meeting and debating from the uh, democracy, who ha which has been inherited of by our constitution of the, the constitution of 1899, and from there, there were over 500,000 proposals who were taken to the president, in which I, in, um, in which. Um, Artificial intelligence has been at the service of human beings, and the, uh, this is a, uh, assembly um, more has allowed that we are we have the the tools to mark the the path of the Venezuela of the future with our five generations, with our seven forces that are consolidated as an only force as an, to defend Venezuela. And uh, President Maduro has asked us to have three 
uh, concrete uh, results and uh, we will see it uh, later with the organizers of this event. Um, a concrete plan of action of the seventh transformation. And first of all, uh, a transfer, uh, an essential transformation is the economic transformation because we have collected the knowledge of a process that our republic have never thought would live through as, uh, as it is the financial economic blockade against uh, Venezuela. We would never have thought about the uh, having uh, ha about going through this criminal blockade that has affected the rise of all Venezuelans. And that experience has been collected on the fight that uh, women and men grandparents have have been have been uh, f f fighting for uh, to guarantee the democra democracy and uh, we have inherited the moral of our liberators. So th this has been a harsh times, but we stand here firm ahead of the, the hegemonies, ahead of the hegemonism who have imposed sanctions by force who have been posed a blockade that has intended to undermine the sovereignty of Venezuela and, and attack our population and attack our economy, smother financially our country. country. And so this first transformation is essential and fundamental. It must mean the great transformation of economy as we have been doing it going through the uh, rental oil model in which elite uh, sectors oligarchies were attached to as parasites uh, to the people of Venezuela. So we must transform it from the rented, rentist economy to a productive economy. And so that's the, the fundamental thing is the Bolivarian plan of action the the we must uh, have a productive culture not a rentist culture and so the productive sectors must be aligned with this policy that is in the um, in the uh, program of uh, recall uh, of economic recovery uh, in 2018 so we must di diversify the economy its productive sectors and to provide the sustainable development for the uh, security of our Venezuelan people. It is a deepening transformation of productive production relations, of the relations of communication in, in which the workers, women and men of Venezuela must play a fundamental role. This was asked by President to the entrepreneurs and it is an essential task that the Minister of Labor has workers, women and men of Venezuela. We must be working on this task. It is the fundamental core for the ongoing growth and for guaranteeing the social security of the Venezuelan people. Greetings to all workers here. A second transformation, it is the transformation that guarantees the construction of a humane city for the welfare, which is aligned with the rights of nature, that it is made up of a habitat for a human being, not to attack the human being. And this is the second, a second great transformation that in implies the guarantee of public services essential for our population. As you know, the third transformation is security, peace, and sovereignty to guarantee a country safe, stable, and in, at peace. Peace must be our first priority, our top priority as a state and as a nation. 
in front of the serious menaces that are are today in the world are like war, violence. So Venezuela, Venezuela must be a reference for peace. The fourth transformation is the great social transformation to heal the the, the wounds of uh, of the criminal blockade against Venezuela. A model that one of the uh, social me that the that social missions must be there to assist grandparents, women, young, to, to provide equ equity and social justice that we inherited from our liberator, Simón Bolívar. A fifth transformation has to do with the political transformation, and th this is essential. Today, the world witnesses Antagonic, uh, antagonic stances of what the state must be. So they they present the destruction of the state that the fate of citizens must be at the individual. But our Bolivarian model, we see, we perceive a state of of peace, social state of justice a communal state diversified under the foundations of our people, which must be leading the lead of our people to raise the flag of democracy, participation, and be ready to define their own fate. So it is a tr essential, an essential transformation to combat, to eradicate corruption, bureaucratism, the state that abuses the, the people or abuses power we have no time to postpone today, today is the time to to have a state for the communes at the service of 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 society of the population of our bolivarian doctrine and so the state that the the burg the oligarchy state must uh, die. It is right now the time for change, the time for uh, combating all kinds of corruption. So it is a fundamental historical task. So it, this depends uh, the, the fate of a society that that is equal in which the the axis be the human condition in a society that is uh, as uh, that we integrate as a unique social body so this transformation is essential is pivotal and so a sixth transformation is the ecological transform transformation venezuela is uh, struggling and is is raising is waging a battle for the rights of mother nation to be res, to be res, to respect the the ecological um, rights because the human beings is heading for the extinction for its own extinction because a model that has undermined the rights of the mother nation and so we we don't understand we people don't understand that we are part of that nature so science and technology is at the service to prevent and to mitigate the effects of climate change that is are, are right now here it is not a forecast a projection of time Today, we are living through the emer climatic emergency. What else do we need to, to raise awareness that this task is pivotal, cannot be postponed? And so we know that Venezuela is maintaining itself to, 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 be, to use uh, green energy and to and that our uh, economic development be sustainable and uh, we are working on the uh, on the mitigating the the use of the co2 
eh, gases. And so a new transformation is Hugo Chavez said in a letter to the United Nations uh, in 2011, peoples of the world, the future of a multipolar world is peace. It lies in us in the articulation of the majority of the peoples to defend ourselves from the new colonialism and reach the equilibrium of the universe that neutralize the imperialism and arrogance. These are the roots. Here we, we have the roots of our Simon Bolivar's liberator, father, and so it is a Bolivarian democracy for cooperation, for freedom, for recognizing the rights as as uh, sovereign states in an international community, as uh, as President Xi Jinping said, we have a common destiny. So this new policy is to provide our diploma, diplomatic action in front of the serious aggressions that our homeland is going through. And we also must plan that world that Commander Hugo Chavez was talking about and uh, a world, a multipolar world of, uh, of different poles of powers, a, a multi-centered world with this, uh, different centers in the world articulated. And that's why we have said that Venezuela is a BRICS country because our doctrine, our roots, our geopolitical, um, and so, the, we have the essence of the, the BRICS because uh, so in the, uh, the UN letter, uh, he's, seeking f he's seeking for uh, for a respectful world that uh, in which uh, wars do not prevail. So that new dip diplomacy has two, pil has two points, main points. The first one is to uh, defend ourselves from the hegemony, and the second one is to build up that new world in the concept of Simon Bolivar, of the universal rights of the peoples, in the concept of the Commander Hugo Chavez, and in that path that Nic President Nicolás Maduro has defended with his own with his own life in front of the aggressions and threats against. Venezuela. And so we know uh, that at the bottom of the Venezuelan people, there are debates as uh, that of the fight against uh, fascism, which is not a, a menace against Venezuela, but against all the peoples of the world. And that's why Commander Chavez knew that, that this task of Venezuela must, must Count on, count on the unity of the peoples of this world. The fight against uh, neo-fascism, Zionism, is a single fight that must guide our our actions, not only here but also worldwide. And so we know today that the Venezuela, there are axes, there are um, there are some movement, some neo-Nazi movements and Zionist uh, movements that se are searching to annihilate the state uh, to uh, to attack the democracy of the peoples that denied life and that boost, li uh, boost violence, war, death. And in front of these aggressions, the Venezuelan people have raised their voices to defeat them. They won't ever they won't ever win. Those who intend to get access to the political power to to be part of the, those uh, uh, fascist uh, networks that are spread all over Europe, that threatens the Middle East, that broadens in this hemisphere, in this continent, and Venezuela is an, a, a fundamental enclave for the defense of homeland life, and it is an, it's an essential enclave of anti-fascism. Of, of anti it cannot be 
negotiations consensus with the extremism. We cannot have reached any understanding with fascism because fascism do not does not understand. It is irrational for those who have a, a conception of life of human beings, of our human species. Fascism is against the human being species, so we cannot have reached any negotiation. Uh, we cannot negotiate with these uh, extremist se sectors. That's why the Palestine, Palestinian cause is our cause, because it is a cause that today is, is giving, Palestinians are giving their own lives, those of women, men, children. It is, so it is, uh, a Zionist and anti-fascist uh, struggle. Therefore, we have supported the symbolic dimension that today Russia wages against uh, neo-Nazism. These uh, are uh, geopolitical enclaves made up of a single movement to defend the, the human being. In this case, the, the, that, con that fascist conception, the predator and destructor of the environment. So we have a lot to defend because we must be a nation of peace, a deeply democratic nation in which the people must be uh, the essence of, must define it so their own fate. We must, uh, we must uh, guarantee our historical path that guarantees uh, the, the, great, the great power of Venezuela. So siblings, uh, brothers and sisters, we summon, we are summon without delay to build up that new state, a communal state of Bolivarian socialism, as Simón Bolívar thought, the speech of uh, Bolívar at the Angostura Congress is extraordinary, and I want to share to share it with you. And it is uh, in force today, but also the Bolívar doctrine Bolivar's doctrine gave a legacy to the world that we must know, that we must disclose. That is the doctrine of Bolivar and his concept of hu human rights, of universal human rights, which was the, the Declaration of Human Rights is comprises the doctrine of uh, Simon Bolivar. They took it from from there, as as well as they took the humanitarian right of war in those armistice uh, treaties of Saint Saint Anna. It is the legacy the, that we have got from our founding fathers, liberator and in this context, so this all, this all was taken from the Angostura Congress, and so we must, the, the, the road that is marked of, uh, of uh, happiness for the people, of uh, political security, how can, how can we not mention the Congress of, of Angostura? This historical Congress has its roots on the Angostura uh, Congress, on the uh, Boli uh, Simon Bolivar founding father. This uh, Congress calls to urge the defense of our sovereignty, our territorial integrity, and our historical moral. That's why the defense of our Esequibo calls for national unity in Venezuela as a single block defending defending our rights 
defending our moral because this equipo belongs to us because imagine ourselves ourselves delivering that uh, territory that was inherited by our liberators so to give that they gave their blood to give us this uh, great nation brothers and sisters we are called for acting as a single force and block as a great nation as we are because nothing has stopped us Be ahead of the worst uh, hurdles we have we have raised and we have uh, we have uh, uh, f fighting so we must guarantee that great future of the venezuela of the power of venezuela of the spiritual venezuela because as uh, two centuries ago colonialist uh, armies came to devastate these lands to wipe out uh, wipe out our people with that same force strength we must guarantee that those colonialist armies financial financial media outlets and commercial uh, enemies we must uh, face them with uh, a single um, as a single uh, unit unit and i brought this uh, of the speech of the congress of angostura and these words be uh, be at your mind uh, well flying my imagination pays attention my my imagination flies on the future centuries and watching the prosperity life that has received this vast region i feel outraged no i feel no i feel very happy and i i think i see it broadening through the coast in though that in in the in our homeland met up with its uh, amazing channels i have uh, i see it serving very main sending to all regions the treasures that are in the mountains of gold i see it contribute uh, i i see it allocating plants uh, to uh, i i see it communicating its secrets to the wise people how superior is the the sum of lights instead of the sum of uh, riches richness i see it seated in the tr throne of uh, liberty so the majesty of the modern world that this uh, historical congress become venezuela in which our founding father called the, the axis of universe that be the venezuelan people with the its identity to become the axis of the universe in this beautiful doctrine of simon bolivar thank you very much brothers and sisters